Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, F Shake Excel Master. I hope you guys are doing great. And this is one of the query by one of our subscriber. He would like to know how to split the time and date into separate columns using date format and a formula. This is happens when you are extracting the data from an ERP system and you like to separate the date and time. I have already made one small example ready over here. So here we can see this is a system stamp date. So first you need to analyze whether this data which is available is it in date format is it or is it in a text format. So here what I, I will show you two examples if the data is in date format yes then it's very easy for us to just by changing the date format type and you can get the date and time. But if it is in the text format yes it is difficult but it's not that difficult once you know the formula and understand the logic it will be very easy for you to do it and I know you will love this one so let us look into it first example if it is the data is in the date format so here you can see it's in the formula bar it is showing it's already in the date format you know so equals to the cell reference and then again equals to the cell reference now go right click format cells you can go to the date you can select the type the date format we like to have it there are many formats available and similarly you go right click format cells then you select the time and there are many available formats for the time as well and select ok once you select ok it will come in this format and you can drag it down and here we can drag it down as well so great here you can see we have the date and time separate but the challenge comes when we have it in the text format yes in the text format as you can see here it is not able to read whether it's a date because the the data what we have in this cell is in the text format so let us convert this text into a date format using a date and a mid function yes with the help of these two functions we can convert this text date into a date and a time format so to convert into date you can select date mid and you need to count where this in this cell where 2017 is starting it is starting from 6 and we need how many characters after 6 we need two characters four characters so we capture the year now similarly we'll do mid select the cell reference comma now you need to capture the month so month is starting from one and we need only one character and again mid select again the cell reference we cap now we are capturing the days so days starting from three comma and we need only the two characters close so here the formula is ready here we go so we got the date yes we got the date here now equals to similarly for the time function we use time again we are going to read it with the help of mid function in this cell reference where our hours are starting okay equals to 11 comma and we need only two characters yes we need only the two characters for that hour so it captures the hours now go again mid and we want to capture now the min uh, minutes starting from 14 we need two characters again oh sorry I didn't took the cell reference again we took the cell from where we wanted to find it 14 comma 2 comma mid again we select the cell now this time to capture the seconds 
capture the seconds it is on number 17 and we need only two characters correct and we close the brackets yes here we go exactly it's the same let's try changing it to 16 yes it is changing 16 let's make it 18 it's working fine let's change the date to 27 so I'll just quickly show you what it has done in the date function we wanted to find the year so we find from where the year is starting okay to in the 6th 2017 then the month where it is starting from starting from 1 and we need one character and the day where it is starting from and we need how many characters it is starting from 3 and we need only two characters similarly for the time as well so I hope guys you like this video please do like this video and subscribe the channel and please share it to as many you can and if you have any queries please post it below the comments and I will try to work on it and get back to you as soon as possible signing off for the day F shake Excel master love you guys